four brands here, Quadro, Fitzpatrick, Microfluidics, as well as Matcon, all are material processing companies. And we focus in primarily in the pharmaceutical industries, but we also support other industries around food, nutraceuticals, and even some industrial applications. As most customers will realize, uh, Quadro and Fitzpatrick have been pioneers in their respective uh, technology. The Fitzpatrick company has been in business since 1936, making hammer mills, Fitz mills for a very long period of time. Quadro Engineering invented the conical mill with a coal mill in 1976. So we've been always innovating and, and, and extending our capabilities over the last combined 120 years. This is the generic drive platform itself and you can put on any head you want to this. And this will be essentially in your lab if you're doing milling technology and scale up, this is the only piece you need and you can expand it as your future goes on or, or scale it to only what you want to do at the time. So with one common platform, now we can offer the ability to interchange heads in order to allow our customers the ability to reduce their investment costs at the lab scale but the flexibility to be able to try different technologies and see which one is best suited, ensuring that as they go to production, they can easily scale up the results from the lab into a full capacity production run. Uh, we're showing here a hand-fed hopper, so the customer can do this by hand feeding, but we also have available with trackline connection, so you can do this as a seal system. So you can put a valve, you can put a bottle on top, open the valve, collect into a bottle, everything sealed, no dust. Uh, but depending on the powder, a lot of customers still use the powder, they get a scoop, they put it in, they mill the product, they collect, and then they analyze. Uh, so we do have um, a number of different um, configurations for what we call the, uh, the infeed hopper of the machine. Uh, everything is tri-clamped because we want to make sure that we have containment on these machines. So it, it is very simple um, of the, uh, the, the removal of the one tri clamp connection. Off comes the, um, the, uh, the, the infeed hopper. Uh, here you can see the uh, magnet, that's a safety magnet. Of course, we don't want to make sure that customers cannot run the machine without safety grid in place. It also has the smart detect that detects which machines in place in order to ensure that the RPM are within that specified range for the technology. Everything is held in to the platform, the drive platform by a track line connection. Um, so I'm gonna take that off right now just to show the, uh, the interchangeability of the uh, machine. And that's how the head comes off. So if a customer wanted then to install the L1A, the fits mill head, again, it's a simple track line connection. We have the same two locating pins to allow us to line up the machine. And to make sure that it's actually then lined up for connection. Then we will do the track clamp. And that took, I don't know, 10, 15 seconds to do. We believe every one of those technologies is best in class from the standpoint of the hammer milling, the API milling, the conical milling, and the security screening and sifting. We believe every one of our technologies is superior to our competition. However, often in an R&D environment, there isn't a budget to purchase standalone equipment, or there isn't space. The scalable lab system is absolutely the most effective way for them to limit the size and space get the equipment that they need with the flexibility, the interchangeable self-detecting heads, allow for a robust development of a formulation using these different technologies, and they can pay as they go. As they have a need for something, as they don't have a need for something, they're basically purchasing one piece of equipment and then have the added feature at a lower price, but still with the very high level of quality and effectiveness of the product, they can purchase the, the extra heads.